All right, guys, we're here at Bunky Life HQ, and this today's project is a big one. We've taken um, our the vision of our original Bunky this is behind us right here. It was our first Bunky, our first Airbnb. It started the whole thing, and with COVID right now, everybody needs an office. Shannon's no exception. Uh, yeah. So this is our, our newest assistant helper to Carrie and myself, um, and she's been working out great. And she's here to help today, like sand. What else are we going to be doing? We're going to be painting. Painting, making sure everything looks so we can stand inside, yeah. getting everything fresh, fresh coat of whatever it needs across the board. Yeah, and the goal is we'll rip out kind of the bedroom setup and we're gonna reset it up as a home office for myself so I can work uh, close to, but not in the same vicinity as the children. That's the goal. <laughs> so uh, watch today as we do this. We'll be kind of explaining what we're doing as we go and uh, just to illustrate, how easy it is to flip a bunkie around and also how, how well a bunkie can perform as a home office or a backyard home office. So I've already stained the outside, we're about to do the inside. One thing that I would highly recommend is vacuum and wipe everything down before you sand it. Otherwise, if you have any cobwebs, it kind of sucks in the uh, sand, sawdust and everything and it makes it harder to paint later. So vacuum it first and then vacuum it again. Just so you make sure all the sawdust is off if, if you're doing a quick turnaround like we're doing today. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sand the interior walls to strip uh, what was a clear I had to put a clear coat on it. So I'm going to strip that off quickly. Then we're going to whitewash it and just give it a whole facelift. Um, and then I think the floors are actually pretty good. I think you can keep the floors as this. Maybe a few touch-ups here and there. But this is our chalkboard. It was the first place we ever wrote the word bunky life. Um, I think my, my father wrote, Welcome Bunky Lifers, or something funny like that. That was kind of one of the inspirations for the name. So, I'm gonna take this guy off if I can. So one cool part about this renovation is we're gonna add a brand new window. We really felt like this wall over here could really use some opening up and a little more light in here. So, the cool thing about Bunky Life kits is they're completely interchangeable with Bunky Life windows. You can add one, while you're building it, you can add one after the fact, like we're doing now. People have even added extra doors on the back side or on the side. It's very easy to do. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm gonna measure the interior side here, make sure it's right, and I'm gonna cut the hole out and pop it in. Uh, watch as we do it. We actually have a whole explainer video on this if you wanna get into the nitty gritty. Um, but uh, right now, I'm really excited to be opening up this room, adding a ton more light, and uh, popping this window in. Yeah, good. You can go a little, little wider than the gap in the window because there's lots of trim to cover everything and I'm going to seal it up later so. Alright so what we're finding the best tool for sanding is this angle grinder with a 60 grit uh, grinding tool. I think it might even be 40 grit. It's just like really rocking ripping off this um, clear coat and uh, one thing I wanted to point out so when I first started I didn't know what I didn't know. This bunkie was my very first bunkie that I ever built. And I've learned so much through the Bunky Life community from our clients, through the people that uh, write in. And um, I'll be honest, when I first built this Bunky, I didn't do some things right. But we have a model now, do it right, do it once. So if I was to do this over again, and I was building it again, I would make sure I caulked the corners first thing. So I didn't caulk my corners for about a year. And what happened was I got a little bit of kind of water stains. Uh, if you look out here in the corner, you can see them a little bit better, right? And I was kind of worried, oh, if I ruined my wood, if I rotted it out. But what I found is, with, this, with the right sander, you can get the stain completely out. It looks like brand new. So I'm so excited that I'll be able to put the bunkie back into, like, as new condition. Uh, just, it'll take a little more manual labor uh, with the proper tools. Um, but it's, it's nice to know that, you know, even if you do mess up, uh, so a lot of the things are fixable. Because, we're just, you know, it's a solid wood product, so there's a lot of forgiveness there. So... Like I said, caulk your corners. There's a whole video on, on how to do that on our, on our YouTube channel and our website. But uh, if you if you uh, if you mess up, a lot of the, the stains can be sanded out. All right, so just everything's good. Um, the floor I think is usable. We're going to keep the floor color the way it is. Maybe do some touch-ups, but everything's sanded down, ready to go. I've tarped out the uh, the floor in here. Uh, my tarp is not big enough, so I'm just going to do this corner, uh, most of it, and then shift over and do the other one. I'm going to be putting on a Sanson Enviro Stain stain. This is my favorite, favorite uh, brand. All of our customers have recommended to us, and subsequently I've used on most of my bunkies now. 
if I was to do this monkey over again from the start, I wouldn't have used the other guys that I used. I would have used Sanson right from the get-go. So there's a Sanson exterior here. Uh, this is a pewter gray that's currently on uh, the exterior. There's two coats uh, of SDF and one coat of ENS. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the inside, but with uh, what's called pickled white. We'll see how that turns out. I'm kind of going for a nice whitewashed look. When you, when you use a paint spray like that, if you have any drips like up here where it's kind of pooling, just make sure you back brush it out. Just like, uh, and it's good idea to get that done sooner rather than later. So we get a lot of requests for, hey, can you guys make a, a poolside bar or just a bar in general? Cool thing about the bunkies is that all the structures in the corner, uh, we took a, our door and our window and this middle piece just fell out on my head, which is great. So us how wide and open it can be. Um, and uh, we're gonna probably put it back the way it was, but it's really easy just to remove these center pieces here, all the structures on the corner, and you could custom make your own little bar and it's nice and wide and open. <laughs> All right, so more or less what I did here was I just rolled out the screen roll. Good thing about uh, most standard screen rolls is they're pretty much the width of the windows that we sell. So I kind of attached it by screwing the trim back in and just laid it down. And then I'm just gonna put my trim back on. This is by far the best way to put windows on the monkey knife, or put screens on the monkey knife windows. There's this, there's this little drip edge down here at the bottom of the, of the window. Um, some people get, uppity about that. I just let the screen kind of droop around it. It's not a big deal. It'll kind of get covered in the, in the things. Like you know, when you put your bottom piece in, make it tight, but not too tight that it's forced against your strip edge and then let your drip edge stay there. If you want, you can cut it off. Some people cut off the drip edge, but it's there for a reason. It's to drip water away from the window. So I'll leave it on uh, and it'll make the screen bulge down a tiny bit, but it'll be imperceptible if you're not like staring right at it. All right, everybody, we've done it. Nine to five, we gave ourselves one day to do a complete bunky makeover, and I think we did a great job. I'm so excited about how this all turned out. There's still a few things drying, but overall it's looking great. I want to introduce you to my own new home bunky office. Your office? What are you doing in there? My office. Please get out of the camera shot <laughs> and get out of my office, please. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Shannon, tell us about the, the concept here, what we did. I was looking for something, you know, very easy to kind of flip things around should you want to switch it up at any point. So going with just a nice sleek white desk and adding some greenery and some nice pictures just to kind of poof it up a little bit. Uh, and I think it all came together really nicely. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, this has been Extreme Makeover, Bunky Edition. And thanks so much for watching. <laughs>